everybody. My name is Dill. I'm nine years old and this is my 30 day cooking challenge to raise money for the home. COVID has affected people in many different ways and homelessness has increased by 23% during the COVID crisis. The charity which I'm supporting is Glassdoor. They provide food, shelter and support services to get them street good. So if you would like to have this course, please donate to the Just Giving link below because there are some people out there who don't have the opportunities which we do. And if you like cooking, please follow me on my 30 day cooking channel. Today we're going to Italy, Sicily specifically, to make orancini. So let's get this big deal started. For this recipe you'll need one tablespoon of olive oil, one chopped onion, 100 grams alborio rice, 400 milliliters of vegetable stock, two tablespoons of grated parmesan, mini mozzarella balls, I have them here, and breadcrumbs. One beaten egg. You can also add pepper to taste though. First, you heat oil in a pan. Secondly, you add the onion. Once the onion is cooked, you add the rice and the vegetable stock and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Once the rice is cooked, you add the parmesan and then the pepper. You then transfer the rice to a tray and put it in the fridge for one hour to cool. That'll make it become nice and firm. And now for the fun part, folks. We're going to start making a cheese. Mm. First, you will take your rice. Now, you will just take about that much looks good. And I'll make a little bowl with it. Then you create a little hole for it. And we'll take a mozzarella ball. This one seems kind of small, so I need one which is small. This one looks fairly small. So I'll put it in and I'll squeeze it in with my finger and now we will close it the, the up, I just need to squeeze it in a little bit more so when it's easier. And now we have it, now I may just roll it a little bit more. And now it's time to put it in the um, egg. That looks good enough. And now it's time for the fun part. We're going to put it in our breadcrumbs. So you just need to roll it around a bit in a few breadcrumbs. And that looks delicious, folks. So now we have the first one made, we'll put it in our tray. And now it's time to make a few more. Now guys, this may take a while, so I'm gonna tell you a fun fact. Arancini means little orange, actually. Not because it's an orange, just because it's shaped like an orange. So you want it to be shaped like an orange. Also, in Italy, they put all sorts of ingredients in there. They put veggies, peas, anything, pretty much. Oh, looks a little bit soggy. But I think that's fine. There's one. We'll just shape it a little bit more. There we go. So, guys, we have a few mozzarellas left which is what exactly I wanted. Now, the reason which I wanted this was because I'm gonna give you two cooking challenges for the price of one today. So, we're gonna take our little bowl, mozzarella, 
Just put a little bit in the egg. I think that's good enough. And we're just gonna roll it around in the bread. And there we go. Here's the mini versions. We may as well do it a little bit at the same time. That looks good. Oh my gosh, it's mouth watering just looking at them. But we need to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes. So let's just take it over there. Now our oven is has been cooking for about 180 degrees. And we're just going to let it cook for about 15 minutes. So let's just relax. So here we go guys. They weren't turned out as expected, but they are definitely uh, brilliant. Well that's the end of it folks. Please go down to the just giving link below to give some money to Glassdoor for the homeless. And I'll see you tomorrow for another fantastic recipe. But remember, stay safe, control the virus, and save lives. Bye! Guys, these are brilliant. Just look at that cheese. I mean, I, I can't wait to eat these.